Okay, I think we're live. Hey, Tim Bart's here, Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, with yet another weekly episode of our live stream here. And uh, so we got the camera set up a little bit further away because we're going to bring um, we're going to bring Blake in here in just a little bit. But let's get started first talking about some of the new updates. Well, before we get started with that, don't forget at the end of this video, if you're watching this as a replay, I do have timestamps down below for all the different sections of the video from scheduling. We're going to talk about uh, the uh, updates to the, the order guides as well a um, breakdown of the refresh and the look of the new expedition that was released today as well as the performance section and talking with blake there and then our q a section so be looking at the timestamps down below for that and the chapters on the if you're watching this on mobile also don't forget if you're not subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you can get notified the next time another video uploaded to the channel don't forget, as qu of course, right now, if you're on the live stream, smash the like button. It lets the other people know it's a great video they need to watch. And if it's uh, they're watching this live, it'll actually pop up and hopefully help uh, hit more people there so they can join in on with this as well. So uh, so go ahead and I know I'm going to post your questions, but later when we're ready for the Q&A, if you uh, go ahead and tag Alon MacArthur, of course, so that way that can that question will be more prominent and I can catch it at that point. Because uh, right now we're just going to let that, that, that roll along as I go through the news. So first, I uh, just kind of talk about some of the scheduling this week. Maverick is being scheduled this week for those that have allocations left. Again, Law MacArthur, uh, we've used all of our allocations because we had uh, the types of orders that Ford was looking for uh, within those 45 allocations. So we used all of ours the first week. Uh, dealers that have allocations left means they probably either they didn't have any orders that fit what Ford was looking for. Uh, or maybe they didn't have those approved through the ROVP, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that later uh, from my video on Saturday. Also, 22 Super Duty, uh, not only retail, but also stock units are going to be able to be scheduled this week, as well as the 22 Transit Connect van and wagon, the uh, 21 Expedition and 21 Ranger, which you want to get those orders in if you're wanting a 21 on those, uh, because they are going to close out soon. In fact, talking about the balance out on those, you do have Explorer, Echo Sport, and Mustang, uh, that uh, those are already balanced out. So you, if you didn't have your orders in, you're probably going to be missing out on that. And for the, the September 23rd order deadlines is for Mach-E and for Escape, 21 Escapes. And then also for September 30th deadline is for 21 Bronco, Ranger, and F-150s. So uh, talk a little bit about F-150 here in just a little bit. And then October 7th is a deadline for 21 expedition orders. Uh, expedition, you have a little while, which is kind of fun to kind of uh, get to see a little bit of the 22 and say, hey, if you don't really like that style, then get that 21 uh, expedition order in real quick before uh, that change is over. Now let's talk about uh, some order guide updates real quick. Uh, 22 F-150, that uh, did come out this week. Uh, and not a lot of changes, but a few changes. Some color changes first. Oh, also order banks are going to be opening up September 30th for 22 F-150. So uh, you can get some of those 21s in, but I think you're going to be happy with some of the changes in 22. Uh, we, we did lose a couple colors. One of them I'm really sad about, actually. So we are losing Guard, Kodiak Brown, and one of my favorite colors, Leadfoot, is going away for 22. But we are getting Atlas Blue. So those are our color changes. Also, if you're wanting a 3.0 liter diesel engine, you better get it in for 21 because it's going away for 22. You will not be able to get the diesel engine for the 2022 model year. And then they are bringing back the black appearance package, which if you know anything about my truck, uh, is a, a beautiful appearance package. So that does give you some nice accents. We'll go into that package uh, later, uh, how it's going to look once we see some uh, changes to the build and price. Uh, black, the black appearance package will be available on the STX trim for the XL, the 101A equipment group, as well as XLT 301 or 302 Super Cab and Super Crew only. Uh, Lariat 502A uh, Super Crew, of course, and then Platinum. It's going to be available uh, this year for Platinum. We didn't see that in 2020 when they had that appearance package. It wasn't available on that. You had to go to Lariat to get the black appearance package, but it's going to be available on the Platinum trim, which I think is pretty cool. Also, bed utility package was also something we did see in 2020 that didn't roll into the new change in 21 is going to be back. It's pretty much going to be added a standard equipment on King Ranch 601A and Platinum 701A, as well as the uh, limited, but it's going to be optional on the even the XL trim 
XLT, Lariat, and then of course King Ranch and Platinum, their base trim. Uh, and then also the trimmer can have it as optional equipment too. So, uh, and then 22 Echo Sport changes, not a lot to talk about there. The only thing changed, even colors stayed the same. The only thing that changed there is you cannot get the 1.0 uh, the 1.0 the liter uh, EcoBoost engine. That has uh, gone away. Everything's going to be the 2.0 liter uh, engine with the all-wheel drive is going to be standard equipment on so which primarily is what we ordered this last year as well so let's talk about the 22 expedition i'm going to show you some screenshots they did release it today at motorbella but you can take a look there is the timberline edition uh, so really like that that is their off-road edition love it you can check out the the bash plate there on the front orange accents uh, you're going to find throughout the vehicle and you can see the refresh on that front grill and the led light that wraps around there just Pretty cool. Uh, I actually looked at this and actually thought about Maverick a little bit just because the uh, the bars that come across that grill uh, kind of look like the Maverick a little bit. Uh, black wheels there for that that parents package, and then uh, also uh, we do have some different interior. Check out the interior here. So you can see orange accent across the interior dash. It will have that big screen. So really updated the interior dash across there. Uh, kind of refreshed it to the F-150, you know, bringing that over to that. As you can see, some similarities there to the F-150, even the console, except for now instead of that shifter, they, they brought and left that dial from force, uh, so you don't have that shifter knob that folds down in. So you can kind of see that interior dash. Um, and then also you can see there's going to be two different screen sizes, it looks like. Uh, you do have this 12-inch screen, which <laughs> looks pretty big. Uh, in itself and then of course you do have the, the portrait more portrait style that we just uh, saw just a little bit ago and you can see that image that there's going to be zone lighting is going to be available on the expedition which is i think is one of the great feature i think it's great on the f-150 being able to use all the led lights around the vehicle to really light up around you if you're camping or whatever you might do or you're working uh, you're going to have that and of course you can see we'll have the sync 4 system as well right there uh, for that and then the Stealth Edition package. Uh, now we already have a uh, on the limited have a Stealth Edition appearance package. Now it's going to be there's going to be a performance package. So you're going to get the high output, uh, 3.5 liter uh, EcoBoost engine. You're going to get upgraded with you can see the the uh, brake. Uh, you can kind of see the uh, brake calipers there, uh, and then also you're kind of seeing upgraded wheels. Uh, I think it'll come come with the CCD continuously controlled dampening suspension as well as part of that system. Uh, and just kind of really upgrades the performance. As, that, as I mentioned, if you're somebody that likes to be on the road with great performance and power, then this Stealth Edition package with the performance package is going to be a great addition for you. Uh, and I believe this is an image of the Stealth Edition trim on the inside. So black interior with some red stitching. Of course, anytime you have a sport uh, trim, you're going to have, you like to see that, that interior, that red stitching that comes with those. Uh, just uh, it's kind of one of the reasons that I had that added to my truck. My interior so pretty cool look up here with the black interior and kind of a close-up there of the wheel with red calipers um, and then also I got I wanted to get this close up you can see that those lights there and just I love the look of that you're gonna have the black trim uh, bars across there as well on both sides so I really love the refresh on the front of the expedition I am a person that runs an, an expedition so it's good seeing that I actually have a, a expedition is least trying to decide whether or not I want to purchase that one or if I want to get a 22 so I'm glad we got our this uh, there's the platinum edition what that's going to look like as well and they did mention the platinum edition is going to get some up, uh, exterior uh, or some upgrades I should say uh, for some of the safety features and performance features hopefully they see that roll around a roll across to the limited as well Hopefully they don't just say, hey, you have to go way all the way up to Platinum to get Blue Cruise and some technologies. Hopefully that's available on Unlimited and maybe even XLT. Uh, I guess we'll see as we get, get those order guides out and everything. So I uh, kind of wanted to show you some of the information on the Expedition. We really don't have much information. There is a page on Ford.com for the Expedition. So you can check that, uh, that page out. Uh, I think if you just go into the 22... Uh, or go to Ford.com and go to Expedition, I believe. So I did see that earlier today. Also, they uh, showed off the Bronco, the Bronco Raptor, I should say. They kind of gave you just a sneak peek. It was like a 10-second video. 
and pretty much the only thing we really did see on it was this uh, this image right here. That's about all that we did see from that. So you've seen that grill. It says Ford. Not sure how I like that. Uh, what do you guys like? Give me a thumbs up if you like that grill. Uh, and then, because uh, I'm just kind of curious if you guys like that, or if I'd rather see Bronco on the front. But uh, sure. But anyway, that's uh, kind of a, just just a glimpse of what's to come for the uh, the Raptor, the, the Bronco Raptor, I should say. So they're crossed and. Eventually, I think they're gonna, we're going to get a Raptor or a Ranger Raptor as well. So, uh, last thing I want to talk about before I talk, I bring in Blake here, and that is the uh, there is going to be a Ford is having a live Q and A on October sixth at six p.m. Central Time. I put that link in the description, so check that out if you want to uh, after the video. <laughs> check that link out, and you can go to there, and you can actually add that to your calendar so you don't forget about it. I want to add it to my calendar, so if you, some of you have questions that I can't answer. A great time to ask forward uh, so it's going to be supposed to be a live q a there on that so hopefully that'll be a lot of fun so check that out october 6th at 6 p.m central time so an hour before uh our live stream here and i think it's a day later too i think it's on wednesday there. so check out our live stream the day before you can throw a bunch of questions to forward the next day so um and then uh, uh blake come on in blake so this is Blake Cormack. He is our aftermarket manager. He is the one that comes out with all the cool custom builds that we have here at Law MacArthur. And I'm uh, actually going to pull up the website. Hope everyone's having a great evening. Um, just to start okay. off with a little bit why Tim's getting this all loaded up here for you guys. Um, my name is Blake Cormack. I've been doing the performance stuff for about seven years now. Um, a few things that we do in-house. We are partners with uh, Slane. We are partners with SCA, Roush, um, Rocky Ridge, um, and we're huge into the uh, Fox performance shocks and stuff like that. Um, we also do a lot with DSI or four-wheel parts. Um, with that being said, um, anything and everything that you guys want to come up custom build-wise, we can do all in-house. Um, we do a number of things from six-inch lifts to lowering kits. I'm sure we see a lot of the LMST trucks out there, which is ours, Law MacArthur Special Edition or Sport Truck. Um, anytime you see an LMSC or an LM model, the LM in that stands for Long Arthur. So that is our in-house builds that we have. That's a page up. You have a dedicated page with all the different custom builds that we do. Blake likes to keep me real busy with these pages. <laughs> um, but we always have them. Bronco Sport, we have them. Uh, so, you know, kind of talking about that, Blake, you know, that's... Yes, absolutely. Uh, that, I mean, we can do similar to that since that's built on the same platform as the Maverick, right? Absolutely. So... We, what we've been doing a lot with the Bronco Sports, we've been in a one, in, a one and a half inch rough country based kit all the way around. Um, those average about 250 bucks. I'm sure everybody knows about that on their website. Um, with that being said, then we go ahead and put 30 inch tires, about 30 and a half, almost a 31 inch tire with a black rhino wheel that's about a 17 or 18 inch wheel depending on the options that you guys choose with. We typically go with a 17 inch wheel on our off-road editions because anybody that goes off-roading really wants more sidewall. When you have more sidewall to a vehicle, that gives you a smoother ride and more capabilities of off-roading. Um, that's very key on doing some of the stuff that Bronco's made to do. Um, Bronco Sport is made to get you the places you wanna go. So that is a great addition. It adds better ride quality. Um, all around, it's a great, great option. Actually, I have a couple of those in what way? Three yes, of those in we have right three now? LMX4 Broncos in stock right now. Um, the package oh, is $10,000. Um, we have a Kodiak brown one, we have a antimatter blue one, and we have a cactus gray one that they're all just fantastic. Um, the, just yeah, the Kodiak brown one is actually my favorite. I didn't, oh, I didn't know how I'd feel about the Kodiak brown one, but all around it is a it's awesome. Yep. Cactus gray, a lot of people have that. Yes. But that's something you're... Yeah, Maverick? Yes, so If somebody wants one of those, we could probably do one. Well, but we all kinds of other. Um, anything. We love trucks. We love custom builds. We yep. have a lot of fun with this. How, yes. many, how many do we have right now in stock? We have over 40. I want to say almost 50. We actually have two Salines coming in here in the next couple of weeks. will be the first supercharged regular cab trucks coming. Performance based. Like on our website right now. So 
where there are a lot of dealers that are struggling with inventory. We have 43 just performance vehicles. 60 other vehicles. You can tell we and we like our, Yeah, we like we a like, performance for like sure. Performance vehicles, we do it on the Rangers, four package on the Rangers. Even just on F1. Yes, even if it's just an LMP, all we did was just take a 21 F-150 and we added um, some nice, really limited style leather and some heated seats. It comes with factory chrome keys, um, and it just it just dresses up an XLT almost to a Lariat. Um, yeah. But it also keeps your price point for, you know, people not wanting to spend 70, 80 grand on a lim limited or Lariat. Expedition. The LMX4 uh, Expeditions we have, they come with a ready lift, three inch lift all the way around. Um, I think it's kind of funny the same week that uh, Ford announced the 22 Expedition and the um, Timberline Edition that we've been doing this for about five years. So I think we're a little bit ahead of them, but would mm -hmm. they all around though, Ford does a great job of marketing and building and designing their products. One thing I will say about the Timberline, it looks a lot like the trimmer at the front with the skid plate mm -hmm. and the Raptor. Yeah. And I think that really uh, is going to beef up the front end, and it's really going to give that an aggressive look that a lot of people are looking for. Yeah. I really believe Ford knocked it out of the park with that design. Yeah, so we have a ton of different builds. We Explorers is a big one, and we do a yes. lot of those. I don't explore unless no. it's got this package on it. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just because of, for one, demand. Yeah, so we have a lot of different customers. Stock. Element are a different one to do, but yep. we may not have any in stock. Just lightning bolt. Yep. We used to have about one of everything in stock, but with supply and demand and everything going on at Ford, um, we're just doing the best we can. But if there's anything that you guys want to build, um, the best way about going, and I'm sure Tim's gone over this a million times with you guys, if there's any custom vehicles that need to get built, the best way to do is to order it. If you order it the way you want and spec it the exact way you want, that is the best way to get it here the fastest. I think lead times are a lot faster than that. If you wait for us to get a stock unit, it's going to be a couple months. But yeah. if you go ahead and order that with your salesperson and go ahead and submit it through Ford, Ford realizes it's a retail unit, and they're going to get it to us a lot faster and we get it out yeah. to you a lot quicker. All. Yeah, just like with the Maverick right now, they're not actually scheduling any stock units. They did at the very beginning, but right now they're not scheduling stock units. So focusing yep. in on yep. so okay uh, we talked about lift kits um, something that people have talked about is about wheels uh, yes. so they like they want to get an XL but they want to upgrade their wheels absolutely so depending on the trim package that you guys choose um, XLs XLT anything like that the fact it since it is based on a Bronco platform um, the bolt pattern is gonna be five on 108 bolt pattern which is about standard for um, Bronco sports because it's the same platform as that um, with that being said, depending on, I know it only comes with one base wheel option, they're telling us it's going to be a positive 38, or a positive 30, so a plus 30 offset. Now, if you go to an XLT, it's going to be closer to a plus 20, and that just has to do with the backspacing of the hub that goes to the inside of the wheel that gives you the negative or the positive offset. Um, if you guys do the one-inch lift, we can go to a positive 20 or a positive one wheel and go to a 30-inch tire. Um, tire brands out there that we like to use a lot of is BFG with the TKO2s, which is an all-terrain. Um, the reason we use a lot of those, they're very quiet on the road and they're great for all-terrain. Um, with that being said also, there's a reason that Ford Raptor uses them. So if Ford uses them for all their performance vehicles, why shouldn't we? Um, so it's a positive 30, um, five on 108 bolt pattern and level kits are in stock. It's a one and a half inch spacer all the way around. They're in stock. We have about 10 or 15 kits of those already. Um, we also have some wheels on order, just plain black ones. We have a little bit of mixture stuff. Um, now, I can't promise I'm not going to have them you know, next week, but we have a bunch on order. Mud flaps? Mud flaps. Have... So mm -hmm. I actually have one to show you guys here in stock. Um, we've had a lot of comments and a lot of questions about these mud flaps, haven't we, Tim? Yeah. So... The best way to describe Ford accessories, if you go to Ford accessories and click on the, the accessory that you want, for example, go to type in uh, accessories.ford.com, go to 2022 Maverick, click on what you want. Um, now it might say like splash guard, mud flap, um, you can call them whatever you want. Click on the link and it will take you to the page. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of the mud flap, it will tell you at the bottom of these mud flaps, these are the molded to fit. 
uh, mud flaps that they fit front or rear. Description will give you all the answers that you need. But sometimes at the main click of the page, it doesn't tell you all the details. Um, with that being said, they do fit front and rear. The reason being is they have a channel that goes to the body line. But when you screw them on, it has three screws with pins that go to it. And that way they hug tight to the body. Now I know there's a little bit some questions about, well, there's some the plastic on the bottom of the vehicle is higher than the rear. Well, the way Ford got away from that is making it just an L-shaped. That way it doesn't matter if there's a little more plastic on the front or the rear of the truck. Because this is going to hug the side of the truck as tight as possibly. So that way it takes care of everything and gives you the nice fit and fin that Ford always gives. The nice thing about it is everything in Ford Accessories is not only buying all these Ford products, you get the points for the purchase of the vehicle that you can use Ford's mud flap. Also comes with a three or 36. So if anything happens, it's always covered by the Ford. Or I should say Ford Accessories. Cool. So yeah, so the mud flap. So even though like, I think that the... Some of the, the confusion some people have had online is that the images they show for the front and the rear, they look like they're different, but I think it's just shading of the vehicle. It is the I shading. I think it's the same one. Right? It is the same one, yep. Okay. Um, and the best way to describe it, too, is that Ford is very good about part numbers. So when you go to look at part numbers, here's the part number. I hope you guys can see. That is... Um, Ford is very good about advertising part numbers, and the easiest way to decode stuff for front and rear, this part number ends in AA, Apple Atom. Um, if the back one, it would end in Baker Atom for back. So, with that being said, there's only one set available also, so that way it also helps try to find what you need. So if you just want rear, then, or front or rear, you just get one set, but if you want both, then yep, you need two sets of them. Okay. Um, what about bed covers? We so, talked yes. about this last week a little bit. Yes. Um, bed covers, great choice. I've had them on every one of my F-150s. I think, Tim, I think even on your truck, you have a bed cover. I like cover. the roll-up one. Yeah, the roll-up one, everyone's favorite. So Ford does have them in stock, and we have some in stock right now. We have 10 of the hard folding covers in stock. We have five soft roll-up ones, and we have five hard roll-up ones that roll on top of the bed. Um, Retrax is also in the progress or process of making the aluminum ones that roll into the bed with the power. Um, they told us in about two weeks. They will have those ready for display. Now, when are those going to be available? I, I can't tell you. But here, I would say in the next two weeks, we'll have some ideas on what those would be also. Um, also, if you go to accessories.ford.com, clear toppers. Um, they're all available for all the Mavericks now. Oh, really? So there is, they say, four to six week lead time. So if that is a topper shell, like the big toppers with windows all the way across the side, um, those are available. So we keep those coming in. So. So we already have, you already ordered a bunch of uh, I, uh, bed covers. Um, yeah, right. we have a bunch of bed covers in stock. Tim's been doing a great job doing all these, and we have reservations now. Uh, I don't know, over 500 reservations. But... Yeah, so we're, we're doing great. Um, Tim's just crushing it. We're, so I'm preparing so that way I want to make it as simple as possible because I know you guys want your vehicle as soon as possible. So if I can have my parts in stock ready to go, I can have your vehicle, if it shows up one day, we can have it cleaned and hopefully within a day or I would say 24 to 48 hours, the vehicle's turned around and heading on the road to the customer. So, so yeah, basically if you have an order with us and you're, you know, I've told you to take off the bed cover or the spray and liner yep. or whatever, or any course mud flaps were a late availability anyway, um, then, we, then you wanna make sure we get connected with your salesperson or with Blake. Yep. So that we can get anything that we have in stock, we can put your name on it so that's saved for you. Have it come. Yep. yep. So get with your salesperson, and I'll be more than happy to hold parts and add it to your, add it to your financing. Um, we can get it installed so the second it shows up, you guys aren't waiting an extra ten days for parts. Um, I will have them marked and ready to go for you guys, and we can around and get it out to you as possible. Now, somebody asked me earlier, and I talked to somebody. Says, how is it that if Ford's having head covers that we're able so with that being said, um, the way Ford does it is that there's other manufacturers out there like Back, Rev, um, Lear Topper that they sublet all their parts out to. Um, and the reason being is that those companies have been doing it for so long that they trust those manufacturers for the quality control side. Um, Ford does a great job of combining all these just like they did with Ford Performance and bring a bunch of stuff on for Bronco. Um, so they did a great job with that. So the way we do is we have, we're such a big aftermarket company, here at Law MacArthur, 
I can order directly from back, rev, all those places, and get it a lot quicker um, in case Ford has a back order on them. But nine times out of ten, I would say about ten out of ten, Ford's already going to have them in stock. Um, Parts Midwest is our distributor and our region for the Midwest. Parts Midwest, uh, we got with our rep uh, at Compton probably, I'm going to say, four months ago when this stuff was available. And I gave him a pre-order list of exactly how much stuff we were and that way they could supply our warehouses in our, in our region, make sure it fits our demand of vehicles. Kind of reading some of the questions. Yeah, see if, yeah, if you guys have any, any questions, any let questions us know. About that. We'll go into some other stuff because I know some people about the video I put out on Saturday mm -hmm. and clear that up. But. Oh, you're fine. Um, spray and bed liner, we do those too. Yes, we use TOF, T-O-F-F. -F. Um, it basically, it's the same company as TUF that they use at the manufacturer. Um, all of our bed liners come with lifetime warranty. If anything happens, anything peels, anything happens in general, it's covered. Now, I understand that you guys probably, most of you guys don't live close to us. Well, there's hundreds of thousands of locations that spray this bed liner stuff. So any warranty available, you can take it to the nearest place. It's paid for. The warranty is on our end. You guys will be taken care of no matter what. Yeah, I actually I have guys yeah, sprayed. Yep. And uh, guys, do my F one fifty left. Yep. Uh, the liner, body color. Hear that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, anything custom like that you want? I mean, talk to us. With um, with that being said, to anything that we do our lifts on, any specially build stuff that we build for these guys, everything comes with a three-year, 36 warranty that matches the Ford bumper to bumper. We also offer um, six-year, 100,000 on all of our stuff. So if you guys want to buy extended, six-year, 100,000 uh, bumper to bumper warranty is covered. And that takes care of anything that happens. So if we lift a vehicle and a drive shaft goes out, or if we do something with a wheel and it starts chipping off, it is all covered by us. So that gives the customer peace of mind. Whether you're spending ten thousand dollars or whether you're spending, you know, a hundred thousand on a vehicle, we want to make sure our customer has the best peace of mind that we always take care of you guys. Man. We're trying to share a mic, so oh, that, yeah. that's probably why I'm probably not facing the mic. Um, um cool. So um I think that's I think of anything else. You guys have any other questions for Blake? Yeah, any questions, just let us know. I'll be here for a little bit and the blacked out Maverick. Absolutely we can. That'd be awesome. I'd be more than happy to. Yeah, there's a lot of things we can do with grills and different take them off. We can those usually do a vinyl on them or we can paint them or we can um vinyl wrap them, whatever the customer wants to. Everything hits a price point. Um so we can we can do about whatever whatever the customer wants. Um, we typically do a lot more painting than vinyl. Um, longevity of what's going on usually typically lasts longer if it's paint. Um, vinyl, though, is if you want to be creative and change colors in and out, yeah, let's vinyl wrap it. And that way, every six months, if you get sick of looking at your vehicle, a different color, we can change. This is the audio, I guess. Yeah, I do actually have. Since I do record during the day when everybody's in here and we have music going and everything, I do, I kind of, I set it out so that I hear a lot of background noise, but yep. because of that, <laughs> that's the way the mic's set up. It's not set up for two of us, but just more. Sorry about that, folks. But, all right, so. All right, so. Good. So, all right. So, any other questions, guys? So, if you guys were wanting to do a leveling kit or lift on a Maverick, um, the parts are about 250 bucks. It's about $1,000 in labor plus alignment. So you could be about, you know, 15, 1600 bucks for it. And that comes with our three or 36 warranty for the lift, um, which, you know, is, can be a little bit more expensive, but we want to make sure we stand behind it. So that way, if you have any problems down the road, you guys are taking. Um, yeah, because uh, that's, like he said, we can put that on the Bronco Sport, so we already can get those, right? You can already. Yes, absolutely, so, absolutely. Yep, yep. That's the great thing about it being um, Bronco Sport is 
go ahead and crazy it's it's amazing how even with the new product launch the stuff comes ahead they already are planning on it and get a hold of it way ahead of time yeah absolutely um is there any hold up still at factory do you know on like bedliners or mud? just the tunnel coverage we'll just talk about i'm going to talk a lot a little bit more about that so okay. that's why it was going to that in all okay. right i'll be around if you need okay that. all right thanks blake all right everybody give everybody give a thumbs up a break to blake there <laughs> all right so i think probably that we were trying to share a mic and i kept looking away from the mic that's why it probably couldn't hear me and it kept cutting out a little bit but um one of the questions i do have a couple for uh ask questions uh that somebody put on the different forums i think on maverick truck club and one of them said um one of them has to do with my video that came out saturday it said so there seems to be confusion as to when we are buyer uh, when when we as a buyer knows for sure that our order is verified and in line to be looked at. If we got an email from Ford, uh, not the dealer, but from Ford that says your order is confirmed in big letters, does that mean that everything is done and it is just uh, just a waiting game? Could, you, could we have gotten this email if the order was not verified? Uh, my order was placed in mid-June. I still haven't gotten a build date and I'm starting to think maybe the dealership didn't do everything needed. So Saturday's uh, video, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, I kind of talk about the uh, how that when you submit your order, that is just one step that the dealer needs to do. And so you basically you you put the order in into the web dough. Once you submit that order and that order is submitted to Ford, that's when you're going to get the email. The dealer still has to go through some steps to get that that order verified through the ROVP, which is a, a acronym for Retail Order Verification Process. So when a dealership um, wants to have that retail order be looked at and not count towards from their stock allocations, they want to make sure it goes through the ROVP so that Ford says, okay, these, this is a real customer that wants this vehicle. That's why you need a copy of driver's license and a copy of a signed buyer's order or the copy of the Webdo sheet that is signed as well with the same name as it is the driver's license. So like on my order, there was a, a glitch in Ford's system at the very beginning that said that uh, you know, a copy of the driver's license was for, for me, but then for some reason the order was submitted with this Robin something. It wasn't actually submitted, but when Ford received it, it said it was Robin something in there as the name. And so they weren't, it wasn't getting approved because there was two conflicting names there. So we had to get that cleared up and then to get it approved. So and stuff like that, that they just have to verify that it's a real person, first of all, with the driver's license and that goes in the system. So that is something that a lot of times you will not see on your end. You just have to rely that the dealership is going to submit yours through that ROVP. Because if your dealership just submits the order and then they do not go ahead and take it through that process then you're basically you're waiting for a stock allocation for them to be able to use that and that's not going to happen especially if it's a hybrid so uh, you definitely and i know a lot of dealerships are upset with me because i, I know there was one person that said there was a dealership had a bunch of orders and they kept they had a bunch of emails after this video went live for monday morning uh they wanted to check and make sure their vehicle was approved and verified and luckily they they you know that dealership was great to work with it looks like and submitted some some of that information and emailed to their customers and let them know that their order was approved um, but that is something you want to make sure you do. And, uh, so sorry dealers <laughs> if I'm doing that. Now, if you have your order with Lama MacArthur, you do not have to call and confirm that. I actually have uh, the document that shows all of our orders and the only ones that aren't approved currently right now are the ones that they, we just received like today. Cause we sit mar we submit ours over the same day that we submit our order. So we get a, a, a an approval like that same day or the next day. So uh, if you have an order with Law MacArthur, you do not have to worry about that. We will submit yours for approval uh, for that, so you don't have to worry about it. So okay, so I have the soft tunnel cover ordered. The roll up uh, with Ford emblem. Uh, in your opinion, which oh, uh, will that do better in a car wash rather than a soft one? The hard uh, do you think the hard ones will do better than the soft ones i would say overall the soft roll-up cover and the hard roll-up cover are very similar um the hard the soft roll-up cover actually goes over the tailgate on the back because so when you close it up it gives an extra seal the hard roll-up cover just butts up against the tailgate so that way if you get on the road it moves it shakes anything like that there's some water that's going to go down the tailgate Honestly, in my opinion, I would say the soft roll-up cover 
um, will actually seal up your bed better because it's going to overlap the tailgate compared to just butting up against the back of it. Ford, Ford doesn't have the soft roll up on the order guide, but we can get the soft roll ups yep. even for the Maverick. Yes. Okay. Because yep. I think they're talking about the soft trifold. Yep. Yep. That's available also. Okay. Is a soft trifold be better than the hard roll up? Yes. Yep, because the the saw or the soft tri folding bed cover, it also does the same thing as the hard folding cover. It overlaps the bed rails, that way it has a seal. Anything that attaches to the bed rail or just bumps into something, you have a chance of leaking water going down the side. So, cool. All right. Can I order a Maverick Lariat rims later on my XLT? Yes. Yes, you can always order wheels later down the road. Um, I will tell you just from previous experiences, anytime you buy wheels through the parts department, they're usually double the price. Um, that's why you, if, I, if you want to change wheels, we always go to aftermarket like Fuel, XD, Moto Metals, something that looks a little bit better. But if you want to order OEM wheels, it's usually going to be... I'm gonna say it's usually double the price of, and if you would just ordered it the way you wanted to at the factory in that spec. Well, in this situation, they're getting an XLT, but they want the Lariat wheels, yeah. so they don't have they can't they don't have that option when they order it. But, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. So there's another question here I wanted to address uh, that maybe you can help us out with, Blake. They so said, "Do you know if wheel covers on uh, say for a." 2010 to 2013 Ford Fusion would fit the XL Steelies. Uh, they said, uh, I think the bolt pattern is 5 by 108. Does that sound right? Yes. So, yes, the bolt pattern is 5 108. Um, and you want to know if the wheel covers. I guess the Fusion one is the same. Yeah, so the Fusion should be the same. Now, the difference in that being said, and just like the Bronco Sport, just because the bolt pattern is the same, you have the inside hub diameter. With that being said, also, the inside dub hub diameter of the Maverick will be bigger because the towing capabilities of a Maverick compared to a Ford Fusion. So I can't give you a straight answer on that, but just going on experiences in the past, I don't think they will because the hub diameter on the inside will be bigger than what the Ford Fusion, even though the bolt pattern is the same. All right, good info. Okay. All right, so what other, I think I'm asking some, okay, uh, minor But what is the steering wheel size and width height and build? You know, I don't really know those numbers off the top of my head. I didn't measure it when it was here. Um, so you want to buy a steering wheel cover? We we'll probably have to wait until we get one in stock. And I mean, we're getting we're getting real close. Next couple of weeks, you know, early October, uh, we should start seeing a lot of our stock ones show up, as well as some of our cur first customer vehicles show up, uh, and then we'd be able to give maybe get more information. Questions? Okay, any questions that I missed? Because again, it's been going down. So go ahead and post those questions again if you have anything I didn't hit, been talked about. Will there be aftermarket seat covers? Yes. Yeah, there will be some aftermarket seat covers. Um, usually, Covercraft and Cover King are the first ones to come out with those, um, and we can get those. Also, Carhartt will have some available also. Um, I do see a question on there about a Ranger and a bed cover. Soft folding cover on a Ranger for it. Okay, yeah. So it's funny somebody asked already about a lowering. Um, I don't want to say too much, but I can promise you the second we get one here on the ground that's not sold, um, it will be going to our shop for a little R&D and we're going to find a way to make it happen because it seems to be a popular uh, need and want that people are wanting to lower these things. Um, I think they're going to look great. We already have plans of possibly doing some 18 or 20 inch wheels underneath of them. Uh, we just got to find the right, right way to lower it. Um, we will have some stuff to overcome being a hybrid or the 2.0. So we're just going to kind of play and see what we can build the chassis off of and see how we can make it happen. All right. So, um, 
people ask about first edition um, and first edition's not delayed in, in, in any way um, that rapid red was supposed to be late availability but um, from what the information i'm getting from the brand manager is uh november uh, or uh yeah for november production um the rapid red is available on the first edition which means like right now the ones that are being scheduled this week and even last week were as you could tell they were november production dates so uh rapid red at this point should not delay anything any of those first editions and i have heard there have been some first editions been scheduled so uh and i know it's probably going a little bit slower uh one thing that you gotta remember on a first edition is that you're required to do that on a lariat with the lariat luxury package in the Lariat Luxury Package right now, they're only scheduling about 17% of those. So when you think about the, the Lariat Luxuries as well as a first edition on top of that, that may be even a smaller percentage. So you're gonna see a very small percentage of first editions being scheduled. But from what I understand, they are being scheduled. And that'd be a great question. Well, hopefully we know a little bit more and we get more scheduled in the next couple of weeks, but um, that's if dealerships have allocations. Our first, uh, I don't think any of our first editions have been scheduled so far. Um, so I know our general sales manager has a first edition um, with a rapid red sked, um on order. He ordered his like the first day, and his has not been scheduled yet. And it's an EcoBoost engine, by the way. So going down here. Oh. What about um, cruise control? For XL. Oh, very, very <laughs> common question. And if we were going to sneak out of here today without talking about that. Um, so Rostra is. Rostra is the name of the company that will be designing and building the cruise controls. Um, yes, there will be something available. We don't know when yet. Um, with everything going on in Ford and, I don't even say Ford, GM, Chevy, just the chip supply shortage, normally all of our aftermarket vendors get a vehicle to start working on all the accessories, you know, a couple months before they actually come out. Well, with everything going on with the chip shortage across the board with every manufacturer, we're not, those companies aren't getting those vehicles until the customers do because they have to order them for themselves. Um, I can base off previous experiences. Yes, there will be a universal cruise control option for the Maverick. Um, with that being said also, I can't tell you price, but if I had to ballpark it, probably gonna be right around $600, um, but we'll know more once they come available and what the price market they're gonna have at. Um, the other hiccup they're having, I do know having and designing it is on the hybrid. Um, I don't think they've ever tried to add a cruise control to a hybrid vehicle. So that's most generally they're all gas powered vehicles. Even manual or automatic doesn't even matter so much as much as being a hybrid because they run off of electricity and I mean just electric motors that they have to communicate with. There's a lot more electronics that go involved with a hybrid than, than there is with an EcoBoost motor. Um, but there will be something available. Um, it's a very common question, but yes. And I assure you we will be the first ones to test it out also. All right, a couple of questions here. Um, now, one person did say, you know, that they, if you call the Ford's marketing uh, call center, they usually say it's in process. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but my Maverick is actually on hold. It has not been approved by through ROVP. Again, that name Robin's on there for some reason, and they cannot get rid of it. I don't know who to call. If somebody from Ford's on the I'm watching this live stream i'd love to get my order approved but i will tell you that i called the call center and they said oh yeah looks like your order is good it's in process so the, what they're looking at is the webdo order so they're not seeing whether or not it's approved at rovp so calling them actually does not help you in that situation and i know that's especially for you out you if you're at a dealership that's not calling you back and you, you're getting frustrated because you want to be able to call somebody uh, I'm not sure because I think what they're looking at there is that order itself. Because like I said, on mine, it is not approved. Uh, it's still pending and it's been denied uh, at this point. And uh, I actually got the zone manager and looking into it. But at right now, it's not approved. But yet, when I call the call center, they say it's in process. So in process just means the order was submitted. Uh, that's really all that means at this point. Um, they can look and see if it's been scheduled. They can look and in, in where it's at in the process, whether it's in process, whether it's unscheduled, whether it's scheduled. They can see that information, but they can't tell you whether or not they don't. They don't really have access to see if it's approved or not. And just like with and within our dealership, I don't have access to that information. We have a couple people within the dealership, general manager, and a couple other people that have access to see if 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 one is approved. I'm not one of those, so. Just kind of give you some input on that there. Um, there was another question. 
Yeah, there was... Oh, there was somebody else. Okay, up, right up here, uh, you put in a second order. More than likely, that second order, they didn't put your email address into the order, and that's why you haven't gotten the email from Ford. Uh, that email address has to be in that order confirmation section. Uh, so they probably just submitted a second order and didn't put that in there. Or pin. Yeah, have, have you heard anything about Ford pin uh, delay? No, no. Either. Hitch is not, uh, Hitch isn't delaying any orders. Um, so, yeah, you shouldn't just. Go ahead and put your hitches on on the orders. It's it's not delaying. The only thing right now we know of that's delaying is the tonneau covers, the optional spray and bed liner, and then we're seeing a limited number of XLT luxuries and a limited number of Lariat luxuries being ordered. But they are being ordered just in a smaller quantity. Um, so right now, I mean, you know, and that was something, you know, in that video, hopefully I had some people that took what I said inaccurately and they took it out of context. And I had said, basically, if you ordered a vehicle like an XLT, and you just add just you know like a hitch or something like that then it's going to get scheduled a lot quicker i'm not saying that's what you should do order it the way you want to order it i'm just telling you that right now we know that you know if you put the luxury package a smaller amount will be scheduled so it's going to take a little longer just like what i said with mine um i ordered an xlt hybrid with that luxury package and that's what i want and i'm not changing from that so um, I'm, I'll wait. I'll wait for that order. So it just really depends on what you want to do. And hopefully when we see more, there's something in, within those luxury packages that are holding things up. Uh, some part they're probably getting a limited number of. They just need to get more of them, and that's why we're not seeing as many roll out. Um, but that's usually once they start getting that stock up, then you're going to start seeing, you know, next month when we get the wholesale, we may see, they may tell us, there's no hold up on the luxury package whatsoever and they're back to 100% or whatever. So uh, we just, it's a month to month thing right now on the commodities and we won't know for October yet for another, about another week yet. So we should get more information about a week or so. Um, fog lights. So fog lights, this would be the first question I've had. I honestly can't tell you. I can look into it. I probably, oh, um, doing the I'm sure we can come up with something for fog lights if it does. I'm guessing the XLs don't come with the fog none lights. Of them, none, of them none of them do. Wow. Uh -uh. Um, it's for a hole in the spot where the FX4 package gets. Togs. Togs, okay. Uh -huh. I, Samantha, I will get back with you on that and see what anybody else that has some questions on some fog lights because I um, don't know, but I will find out too. Yeah, not if I would say probably they probably won't be pre-wired if there's none there for any of the trim levels. Now, if it was you know XL doesn't have it, but XLT and Lariat does have them, there would be a chance of some pre-wiring. But if none of the trim levels have them, I I don't want to tell you there's going to be any pre-wire in there. But normally on aftermarket fog lights, they're not too difficult, and you can always add a switch somewhere if you need to. But like rigid on some of ours, yeah. right? We do a bunch of rigids. Um. Or have you uh, have you been ordering in the floor liners? Yes. So we uh, have are the, the hybrid and gas different. Yes, they are. Okay, so they are a little different because the hybrid floor sits up a little bit. And oh, somebody asked earlier, and I kind of went over that, and I didn't mean to, but somebody asked about whether or not lease would work on our free shipping, and yes, that would work. Um, we don't usually earn as much from a lease deal as we do a finance deal. Um, so um, it just depends on how close you live. Uh, we may have to charge a little bit for it, um, but I mean, because the way we work it, we're very transparent, is it's the financing that helps us pay for the shipping of the vehicle. Um, and, uh, but you know, if, you know, on a lease deal, um, of course you're only leasing for a certain amount of terms. So there's a lot less there that we get in profit. So it's a little bit harder to cover like a thousand dollars worth of shipping. But it really just depends on how close you are to us. Hmm. Yeah, um, yes, um, you can order any wheels from any aftermarket, it's up a little higher, um, vendor, um, but I do suggest sticking with the name brands that we all know and trust, Fuel, XD, Moto Metal, um, some of the bigger name brands, and the reason behind that is the quality of the wheel that you get. Um, some manufacturers don't put any warranty on the wheels, so if they start to fade, the clear coat starts to come off, or I've even seen wheels crack just by driving them down the road. Um, if you stand with the with a company that is well trusted with the bigger name brands, um, they're going to stand behind you and support the c consumer at the end of the day a lot better than you know some wheels that you may not see that luxury with. Um, 
I always go to like wheelpros.com, discount tire, tire rack, um, trying to think of any other. Moto Metal has their own website, Fuel has their own website. Um, I usually stick with those name brands because those are names that we trust and that they have always taken care of our customers if something's happened. Okay, and then I think Robert's saying a rear plug. Of course, you've probably seen the, in the bed where you can have the outlet in the back. Yes. I mean, I'm assuming if you wired it, you probably could, could add that back there. We know the hole's going to be there on both sides of the bed with a plate. But you probably, I mean, that's probably a part you could get from them, but you'd have to wire it yourself yeah. or figure out. And then, uh, Adrian, I think you had said confirmed order on July 22nd, XLT, black. Of course, it really depends on if you have the hybrid or the, or the EcoBoost. Uh, and also, again, depends on what dealer you're with. And if they ordered yours and went through the RLVP, is if they didn't do that, your order's probably sitting there and not going to be looked at by Ford and not be scheduled until it's uh, approved through that RLVP. There are still a lot of people that haven't had their their Mavericks scheduled yet. Uh, again, it's a launch. Uh, just just bear with uh, you know all those, uh, but they will get scheduled. I know, Bill, uh, I mean, like we know that uh, the rest of November still hasn't been uh, filled up yet. And we have December as well. And December is supposed to be a big ramp up. Uh, according to our wholesale from last month, it's almost double of November's production uh, than for December. So we're going to see December being a big uh, month, hopefully. Hopefully they keep to those numbers. And we're going to see a lot scheduled uh, in the beginning of October for December bill. Um, so go back. I'm sure I cut out a little bit, and I apologize about that, guys. The hard folding cover, I would recommend the tri-folding hard folding cover. Um, that is by Rev, um, R-E-V. The other one that makes a really good one is Back, B-A-K. Um, they make a very good cover. They usually have a one- to three-year warranty on it. Um, anything that's from Ford, obviously, goes through three-year, 36 warranty. Um, but the hard folding cover, I recommend it because it attaches the inside of the bed rail and then it folds up against the back window so if you need to take it out and have the full bed space you still have it the other nice thing about it is you have two seals you have the one seal that the bracket on the side of the bed attaches to and then you have the one that folds down and latches into place it also goes over the rear tailgate now the why i emphasize the rear tailgate so much um you want a bed cover that overlaps the rear tailgate. You don't want, do not want one that butts up against it. The reason being is if you're going down any roads and the bed's moving or shifting at any points, or if you go through a car wash, if the bed cover butts up against the back of it like a seal and does not overlap it, it's going to allow water and dirt to get in. So I always tell people to find a bed cover that overlaps the, the tailgate so that way the water runs off the tailgate and not down the tailgate. Um, now, I also saw one about some mud flaps. Um, Ford actually these are the same ones that Ford uses they are the molded in design by Ford um, These are the exact same ones that if you were to order the vehicle from factory These are the same ones that you would get with the part number so that if that helps you guys answer that question um, Yeah, absolutely Yes, so I am not near as good as Amazon. I'm sure <laughs> anybody tries to keep up with Amazon these days. Um, I will do my best, but yes, we can always ship to your to your address, to wherever you guys want to go. Um, if you guys buy from us, I have no problem shipping them out to you guys. That is absolutely no problem. We also are offering, I think me and Tim, I don't know if Tim discussed this either, on some of our products like mud flaps and bed covers. Um, if you guys decide not to order from factory, um, because you want your vehicle now, but want to add it later because I have the parts in stock right now We will go ahead and throw in free installation on that through my department um, I have no problem that way you guys aren't paying more for something that should have came on the vehicle from factory So if it's a bed cover or mud flaps on your vehicle um, You guys take care of the parts and I will install them for free at my expense just to make sure you guys are taken care of and to make sure that um, If he has any problems, we, we just take care of it and we want to support you guys that was something I mentioned last week, and I wanted Blake to be able to, to give you those news because we, yes. we talked about that and whether or not we could do that or not. And the great thing is is that we don't, uh, because he has such a great department and a lot of people in his department, because of all the different builds that we do, that they can do that right there in their bay without having to have it done through parts or, or service. So, um, let's see. People asked about moonroof uh, causing delay. Nope, haven't seen that. That has not been shown, that has not popped up on the constraints from Ford yet. 
Uh, I know, I think a lot of people are in the past of saying because it was is built like the Bronco Sport and Bronco Sport had issues with moonroofs, then that was going to be a delay. But one of the things you noticed on Bronco Sport was all the packages on the different trims, like the Big Ben, like the Outer Banks, and like the Badlands, those packages that you could order on those all came with moonroofs. It's part of that package. Yeah, so because of that, a lot of people wanted some of the features, and maybe they didn't care about the moonroof, but it was included, so that caused a, an issue. That's why you'll see on no, 22, the moonroof is separate from the package. Yep. It's not included this year. So that's why moonroofs had an issue last year, and it might be why some of the luxury packages this year or right now for the Maverick is having a delay is probably because maybe spray and bed liner because we know already don't do a, an optional spray and liner because we know that'll delay yours. But then we also see a smaller number of luxury packages, which makes me think it could be the spray and bed liner or it could be something else. It may not be spray and liner, but yeah. that's my assumption. So, um, and they actually did tell us a month ago that they may actually take the spray and liner out of the packages to that's get them to get the, yes. Standalone packages. Yes, and to get it as a standalone so that they could get those XLT luxuries. Because like mine, I don't really care that it comes with it because I just have Blake do it when it comes in, um, you know, and just get the package. I mean, so I didn't care if that came with it or not. So, okay. Roof rack option that does not grab the side. I have seen some roof racks on, on I the have too, but... And I know there's bed rail racks of some yes. sort, but like tents. So on the on the bed accessories, they will have very similar setups like Bronco and the Ranger has an F-150 that have the, I'll, I'll say a canopy setup where it has the rack that you can put stuff and luggage on top of it. Um, they will have those available, but there's nothing currently at this point that will be. Um, I think it goes through Yakima is the, the brand that they use a lot of that stuff. Um, there's nothing available at this time, but yes, they're in, in the process of making them. So on the remote start, if you do not include it in the luxury package, um, it already has on the Ford Pass app, but I get this very common question on Explorers and any 2022 models that does not have it built into the key. Um, I don't know as soon as they're going to be available, but the easiest way to do is an aftermarket remote start. And the way that works is we put a program under the vehicle, we retune the vehicle through the Ford computer system in our service department, and that allows us to use the same key fob. We can set it up two ways. We can set it up one way that uses the lock, unlock, lock method, or you hit lock three times in a row and it starts up. Typically, these remote starts have about a 100 to 500 foot radius around the vehicle which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's very convenient if it's just sitting in your driveway, you don't have to find your phone to, to remote start it or set a timer or anything like that. Um, but it is it will be doable. Um, we're just gonna have to take a little bit of time to wait to see when those are gonna be available to start using. They did ask how they think it, the hybrid front wheel drive will pull a 1500 boat trailer, which I think it'll pull it fine when it's dry, but like they mentioned, bring it out of the water since it's front wheel drive, most of that weight's going to be on the top, on the back of it. It could be, I don't know. That's why I'd break, I mean, I think if you're, uh, I mean, it's still 1,500 pounds. You know, if it's a small boat, I mean, sure it'll be fine. And there are, don't forget, when you're doing that, put a, use the different drive modes. I'll be doing yeah, videos absolutely. about the drive modes. Put it in that slippery mode, and it'll help because then it'll help that torque come down so that it gets better traction. It should be fine. Okay. Yep, of course. All right. So, uh, well, those are some great, uh, great questions. Um, and I think we hopefully helped out. And again, um, of course, a lot of those can be gotten. You can get those through Ford accessories, plus, you know, a lot of aftermarket. 
places if there's anything that like you can like i even mentioned you know bed covers can be installed so if you're you know we have a we don't have that many we're drop shipping at uh we we like to you know put them here so that blake can put on the bed covers spray and liners and that kind of stuff and then we ship it to you um kind of like that process a little bit better um then drop ship and also we know that when we get shipped here then we can we can inspect the vehicle and everything like that if it's drop shipped and something happens in shipping to that vehicle uh that dealer they're not going to be responsible for it they're like well the damage you know you got to talk to your dealer about it so yeah. we like we'd rather do that but in some cases um, how far like we do, we have several orders in hawaii because of that we do have to drop ship there um uh, in those cases but in those cases we can probably if they want a bed cover and they can put it on themselves we could you yeah, know, we, can so we could just ship, ship it to any- them And a lot of those, uh, some of those bed covers and all that, how long does it take your guys to take me double time? But. <laughs> so Installing a bed cover, I, I laugh about this with my guys. I install them all the time. Um, it's kind of like a light bulb. It takes you longer to unwrap the box in styrofoam than it does to install it. Um, <laughs> it real, Realistically, it takes about an hour. Um, if you're really good at them, you can do them in about 30 minutes. Um, but overall, depending on the bed cover you get, it's about a 30-minute job. Um, mud flaps, it's usually an hour on the front and an hour in the back for install, and that is with a technician that keeps doing them over and over again. Um, unfortunately, with the tires being so close, if you have the right tools, you can do them about an hour per axle. Okay, somebody asked about the ROVP being used on uh recent releases also like the bronco and maki on the bronco until just recently they've had the reservation process so they all were gone they went through kind of a different process on that as well as the maki maki you have to reserve before you get your vehicle uh, all other vehicles though have been used in the rovp system since i think april i think somewhere around there when they were shutting down plants and they were saying oh, we're only going to work on we're not going to do your stock orders we're going to focus in on customer builds that's when they come up with that system because that was their way of verifying that it was for a real customer and you just didn't say hey you know here here you go this is a this is for you know you know this person or that person and not be able to prove who they who they were so um that's that's when they come up with that system so that way dealers don't get all these vehicles for oh yeah the customer decided not to take it and it was really for their stock um and we saw some of that with some fake names now you have to have proof of that with that driver's license um the only difference is in california i didn't mention this on saturday but in california i think california dealers all they have to do is show a uh sign check uh deposit check and that's that's why that's why in california some dealers are doing deposits is because that's all they have to show for verification they they can do it the system like we do where they submit the driver's license and everything but we wouldn't have to we wouldn't want them to go through all that hassle no (laughs) (laughs) anyway okay so any other questions that i missed on Okay, and we're right at eight. So, uh, thanks, Blake, for coming on and uh, and uh, and answering any questions. If I get any in the, in the on the video and everything, then I'll definitely uh, you know, ask you. Of course, I usually ask him all the time, and he always I always bug him. But um, Blake's a great resource, and uh, we're very glad to have a great. We do have a. I'm I'm I'm, I'm representing today. Yeah, I got my Roush one on. Uh, but we do uh, call it La MacArthur Performance because it's it's really a brand because they could see with 43 custom builds that we have in stock right now that it really is a brand in itself. It's Ford, it's Lincoln, and it's La MacArthur Performance. And we do have a separate Facebook page. Yep. So just search La MacArthur Performance and you can find it where we put dedicated uh, our builds will be on there. And we trade for something really cool. Got a lot of Corvettes right now and a lot of, in fact, we're getting some of our trade-ins and some of the builds. I saw yes. an Explorer the other day with yes. the leather seats in there. So we're getting a lot of those trade-ins too, and we put those on the Lawnmower Health Performance and yep. Roush stuff and SCA yeah, and right. all that stuff. So, um, Real yeah. quick before we head out also, guys, um, I was going to say we also do a lot on eBay. So you can always go on eBay and search some unique vehicles that we have, new, used, Corvettes, Celines, Roushes, anything you can think of it. They're always listed on eBay. And if you do, hit buy it now, and we'll be more than glad to. We also offer on all of our performance vehicles also free shipping. So we'd be more than glad to ship that vehicle anywhere you guys want us to go with it. So, All right. So I think that's it for questions here. Um, 
the mixture of I think somebody just asked about the mixture right now from the last week we noticed about 30 percent of our scheduled vehicles were hybrid we had 13 out of the 45 actually it ended up being 28 percent if you want to be 100 percent accurate uh, but that's usually about the mixture there but so again thanks for watching uh the video here and before i head out i was going to do this at the beginning but i want to wish of course he's not watching because he's four years old but my grandson's birthday is today so i need to get home so i can get some cupcakes and wish him happy birthday before they leave if they haven't already uh so i want to just thank you guys for joining in and uh don't forget to smash the like button on this video share it out if you want to share this with people if they see somebody is talking about aftermarket uh and accessories and different things and whether it be on facebook whether it be on reddit or whatever go ahead and share this video to them uh you know and help them out and again always tag me on any things uh you guys have tagged me on a lot of different posts if you have a conversation going on with somebody and you're not sure the 100% answer of that, tag me. And if I don't know, I'll reach out to the brand manager and get that information for you guys. And uh, um, so, uh, and get those, those answers as quickly as possible. And uh, really looking forward to the uh, live stream with Ford just to see if there's some things that maybe they can answer. Um, oh, somebody did uh, one last question. Um, I did forget about this until just now. There's somebody did ask about hybrids not not being built. Uh, for production but not being shipped out yet and i think that that's because they're waiting for the fuel economy numbers and such and the testing they have to get those tested and approved through uh the channels through uh all the federal regulations and all that the ecoboost they didn't need to because they've had that engine for a while we've seen it in the, in the bronco sport seen it in the and some of the other vehicles so that one got passed pretty quickly because it was a little bit easier but this hybrid is a new hybrid engine and such and um so it is uh, something that has to pass through those inspections before they're shipped out so the people that have um you know some people had mentioned that they had a production that said that was built but then it hasn't heard anything since and that's because those vehicles haven't been shipped out until they they're allowed to uh, once those window stickers start showing up with the fuel economy on there, that's probably about when they're gonna be released. And I'll do a video and, and talk about when those are uh, done. The, basically, they call it okay to buy. Okay to buy means they can release it from the factory and send it to dealers. Uh, they could do that on the EcoBoost. So EcoBoost are in transit, they're on the way to dealers uh, so that the customers can buy them. But the hybrids are not yet. So we are still waiting for the confirmation for the okay to buy on the hybrids. So. Uh, keep that uh, in mind too so again thanks for watching the video don't forget subscribe if you're not already hit the notification bell so you can get notified the next time i have another video upload to the channel and as always uh, smash that like button until next week we'll see you guys later thanks